at CF Moto, uh, when people first heard the name, of course it was an unusual name for Australia uh, some 15 years ago. Nowadays, not so much. Uh, it's now a household name. Their involvement on a commercial level with the KTM factory uh, has given them, uh, how do you say, recognition worldwide that is fairly hard to ignore. KTM also doing exceptionally well through the whole the last two or three years. A lot of factories have stumbled just a little bit. Uh, KTM has gone from strength to strength. Uh, their engineering is superb. Uh, they are still the light, lean European machines that they've always been. And CF Mado, as a Chinese manufacturer, has taken advantage of that uh, uh, technology and engineering. As you know, I've had my 650 for uh, a bit over a year now. And because I wanted to have a committed CF Moto uh, artisti, but I do quite like the, uh, the brand. I love the bike I've got, and I've been interested to see how they move things along. I'm really looking forward to it. CF Moto is a company that started in uh, China over 40 years ago. Um, it was launched into Australia uh, probably in the late 90s, um, and it had a few false starts. Uh, then Mojo Motorcycles um, in Melbourne uh, became the importer, and they helped accelerate the plans for, for CF Moto just at the right time as their own product range was starting to be developed into world leading products. Put the helmet on there, side stands down. What do you think of the new 800? I'm just looking at this thing. It's a beast, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, uh, it's a full-size motorcycle. It's the first full-size motorcycle from CF Moto. Um, and it's a beauty. Uh, compared to my 700, this is a larger motorcycle, but it's that style of bike. I mean, it's, you, I've ridden a few of the larger KTMs and larger Hondas, etc. This is This fits into that genre perfectly. It's one of the few bikes I've ridden in the last number of years that I don't make look like a 125 to be honest. So that's a, it's a good size, I like it. So it's probably a good size for me too. Yes, yes. I'm just looking at some of this, um, these castings, this swing arm. It's beautiful, it's and beautiful. Footrest hangers. The finish, uh, one of the words we used to use in the industry was panel fit and the panel fit of this bike is absolutely 100%. The, uh, the stitching on the seat, the, uh, the, the paintwork, everything is Impeccable. Yeah. I mean, I, I've ridden the bike now for a couple of days and uh, I'm repeating myself, I know, but I'm really struggling to find anything that I could tell you about that I don't like. Um, and I, I know that's going to sound like an ad for CF Moto, but I'd love to be selling these. They are really sensational. This is a bike that needs no selling. It, you look at it, you see the sticker price, and, and you'd be a, a fool if you didn't look a little further. Uh, what is the sticker price on this? Uh, 12990 right away. Ooh. Yes, I mean, that's, it's, it, you're basically getting a brand new motorcycle that's a 2022 model uh, for a used bike price. It's, uh, and this has got features on it that a lot of the older bikes, like it, I hate yeah. to say it, so some of the V-Stroms, etc., that are, you know, a beautiful, solid, dependable motorcycles, don't have things like cruise control. They don't have uh, ride-by-wire throttle. They don't have the uh, the full TFT dash. The, you know, it's a seven and a half inch dash. Uh, a three year warranty. Um, it's the KDM. Uh, oh, it's the 800 790 engine that's been around for a few years now. But it's it's great. 90 horsepower. You know, I see again. I see these larger bikes. You've got 150, 160 horse. It's not a horsepower race. Yeah. You know, like uh, if you watch any of those travel shows where people are going around the world on a on an adventure touring bike, most of the time they're doing 25 and 30 k's an hour. Uh, on the back road, so you it's don't need 150 horsepower to do 30 k's an hour. Um, it has got features coming out of the wazoo, it's got options, it's got genuine equipment. Um, comes with a standard uh, pannier rack. Uh, the panniers and the top box are available. You also get soft luggage for, for a top bag and also side bags. Um, it's got the brackets ready to go for the centre stand. The, the, the next model on has a lot of these features as standard. Uh, keyless uh, ignition. Uh, you've got a steering damper, you've got, uh, it, look, the list just goes on and on. Um, the, uh, the seat is a two-piece seat. Most of the CF Moto so far have been a one-piece seat, but the two-piece seat, and there's a wonderful toolkit right under there. Um, 
The muffler is beautiful and compact. I can't see any reason you'd really want to change that. Uh, some people like noise, I'm not one of those people. Uh, that works nice, it looks really nice. The uh, swing arm, the castings, uh, the welds and the frame, um, it, it just, it, it's all robot these days. Um, and look, one of the things we can't gloss over too much is the fact that this bike actually came from the KTM factory in China. It, it's got the KTM engine and it has CF Moto written on it. It actually came from the KTM factory, which is literally across the road from the CF Moto factory. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it came from the CF Moto factory. The quality from that factory is identical. Uh, but this bike itself, you can, it's, it's a KDM with CF Moto on it. Um, three year warranties, uh, as long as it's serviced at a CF Moto dealer. Uh, they got the bracket here for the, uh, the center stand, which is something that there seems to have been forgotten about over the years. But okay, this one doesn't have the center stand fitted, but it is available and it's available on the, the next model called the Touring. Um, it's got availability for a steering damper, but I'd have to tell you this bike doesn't need a steering damper, but if you want one, um, it's, it's ready set up to have it installed. Uh, the spotlights come standard. I mean, that's one of the first things that most people put on, a, on this type of bike are the little spotties. But the difference with these spotties is they will actually come on when you're doing the indicating, the spotlights will turn on to help indicate or illuminate the road, uh, which I, look, it took a little while to get used to last night, but I, uh, I tried the, the, the headlights out the, 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 the high beam is fantastic, the central beam is fantastic, the spotlights I didn't think I'd like, but the way it just lit up the, the road from side to side, look gosh, if you were out bush and you had kangaroos or possums or something possibly kind of walk out in front of you, it would be a, it'd be a godsend. The, uh, the screen is again fully adjustable, with, with the ease of turning the, uh, the adjusters in the right direction. You get a little bit of adjustment, I think there's probably room to make it a little bit taller, but there's a lot of people on Alibaba doing, doing that. There may be something in the back catalogue um, to, uh, to, to fix that screen. But if, for a tall person, I think the screen needs to be slightly higher, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. Um, you've got power. You've got two USB ports on one side. You've got the old fashioned uh, cigarette lighter on the other side. Um, Okay, I don't think anyone is going to use it as a cigarette lighter, but it gives the availability of plugging a whole range, a whole myriad of devices in that you need charging. Now, the standard bike doesn't have the heated grips and the, and the heated seat, but the next model does. It's like, <laughs> that's incredible. I mean, if you're riding in winter, um, I've never had a heated seat, but I've had heated grips. I can only imagine the heated seat, this particular seat would be fantastic. The other power outputs would let you have the electrically heated clothing, such as the jackets and the gloves, etc. Um, you know, be able to recharge those, or recharge a phone, or recharge a GPS. Um, having said that, the next model up has the GPS features built into it. Um, I mean, the, the, the features on this bike, we don't have time to cover them all, to be honest, and uh, my elderly brain is starting to forget some of them, even as I say it, but it is just feature after feature after feature. Let me show you the little bit of, uh, of the light show from the dash. This is quite incredible. So it's just going through a self check and uh, it's a fantastic dash. I mean, all of these types of dash do uh, suffer a little bit if you've got light coming from behind you. Um, but it was super easy to read last night. It's super easy to read in a uh, normal situation where, the, as I say, the sun isn't directly behind you. Um, I, I like the dash a lot. It's, it's big. If you've got problems as you get older, uh, it was a piece of cake to read everything. And having the availability of the ambient temperature, uh, it's a little feature. You know, you know it's hot or cold, but now you can tell it's 19 degrees instead of uh, you know, 15 degrees or when it goes down to five degrees, it, it comes up with a you know, warning there could be ice. Um, so there's a lot of good features like that. Cruise control, uh, that's starting to become a very standard feature on all CF motos. Um, I have to say that it, it's on my 700, it's about the smallest bike you'd want it on. On the 800, the cruise control works fantastically. Uh, you've got the ride by wire throttle, which again, it's just become normal now, um, you know, throttle cables don't exist uh, on most bikes in 2022. It works pretty well. Yeah, not only is it um, 
the sweet spot size-wise, both the engine and the, the bike itself, but power output, 90 horsepower, I think it is, is puts out, yeah. is perfect. You can get bigger, faster uh, machines, but they're useful on racetracks. In the real world, something like this is it's the sweet spot. The heart and soul of this bike is the engine, which uh, has been donated by KTM. Uh, there's obviously this growing uh, bond between KTM and CF Moto. Some of the KTM tooling is now owned by CF Moto, so you're going to see a number of KTM inspired engines that will be uh, part of the range right up to the 1200cc V twin uh, that's I think uh, not that far away. Um, and it's quite a, quite a step forward for the Chinese motorcycle industry. Um, this particular engine has been incredibly popular uh, in the KTM models in uh, their road bikes and their off-road bikes. The, it's a 270 degree uh, crank throw, which if people remember the old TRX Yamaha, which uh, again showing our age, but that was a very, very popular engine. Um, it gave that V-twin feel, V-twin sound, um, but it's a parallel twin. And 800 cc's or 790 cc's, it's a perfect size. That just looks like a good fit, good feel. Yeah. I can get my feet flat on the floor. I can stand up on it. It's the ergonomics on this is just beautiful. I, I totally agree. The uh, they've spent a lot of time designing this motorcycle. Um, I mean, I, I don't know that as a fact. I just see that as being a, a, having been around the bike industry for a little while. Um, they've obviously gone to the market, asked them what they want. Um, the engineers, they would have used someone from, or people from KDM, I'm sure. They've clearly built this bike on experience. I gotta say, I'm still struggling to find anything major about this bike that I would say, look guys, you really got that wrong or this needs fixing. It's only missing one thing. Well, you've got the cigarette lighter, but there's no ashtray. <laughs> That's out there, mate. You got the world's your ashtray. <laughs> but the world's your oyster, the world's your ashtray. Yeah. I like this seat. It's not only comfortable, but this this little step is just Isn't it? perfectly it, positioned. Everyone has said the same thing. Um, you know, there is one feature, I guess, in, in along the ashtray lines, which could be fun uh, for the Americans, maybe, is the uh, the coffee cup holder. Ah. There needs, there needs to be a coffee cup holder, a la Goldwing, but uh, uh, that could be a little bit problematic going over jumps. I love it. I want it. I do, I want it.